Hi, Pat. Good Hi. afternoon. Um, Sergio Gomez, um, how has he settled in? Um, is he ready and how much of a part has he got to play for you this season? So good so far. No complaints. Uh, I think settling his apartment and and like the group is exceptional. He got him really well and yeah, start to, to know each other. Is he, is he ready? Is yeah. Part of your plans tomorrow? Sunday? It's travel, I think so, to Newcastle, yeah. Uh, Bernardo Silva, um, how is the situation with him? There seems to be major interest from a couple of clubs. Do, how do you see the next couple of weeks of the transfer window going with him? He's our player and he knows our wishes as a club, me as a manager, even his mates. What is going to happen, I don't know. You want him to stay? I said many times, yeah. A tough game at Newcastle on Sunday, Pep. Um, but very early days, but with Liverpool having already dropped four points in those couple of games, to what extent does that give you an advantage at this very early stage? You said perfectly, very early days. So after, I'm sorry, but after two fixtures, two Premier League games, we cannot make any any plans about the future. The future is, is, is Newcastle and with all due respect for all the teams, uh, try to improve our game and try to win the game. Four points can be significant though, can't it? Even after two matches, when you look at how the league seasons have been the last couple of seasons. You said can be significant or cannot? Can be significant, four points. In two after two games, yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Just 111 points to play. So At the end of the season, though, when you look how tight both clubs have been. Competing. Listen, it's just two Premier League games. So. Just is a process to get better at our game. Still, we are in the process like in pre-season. Apparently, it doesn't look like, but it looks like. So, we was good these three weeks. We have a long week to training. Like, um, when we start the next month in September, this is not going to happen. And try to improve our our principles, our game, and and the best way to see how is the team in that moment is during the games. And the last two games was really good, really, really good. In some points unexpected, but the players prove to me again how wrong I was uh, because they did it really well, but we have to continue in that way. Well, you could put more pressure on them playing before Liverpool, playing on City. Listen, there's a third question about Liverpool. Liverpool is not my business, so it's Manchester City. So I don't know Liverpool. Uh, so, and you know the respect I have at this. What do you have to do ourselves? On those two games we've played so far, Pep, what pleases you more? The number of goals you're scoring or the clean sheets you're keeping at the back? Both. Both are related. And in terms of Newcastle, how much have you seen them change under Eddie Howe since he took charge last year? The, the style of play as well. The numbers and the style of play speak for itself. So arriving in a difficult position last season, when when uh, and he won us to cover the club and they make an incredible run of games, winning a lot and always difficult. Uh, last game here is a little bit. The emotions were difficult. Is our were our first game after Madrid defeat? They were already safe in, in the Premier League when the in the beginning of the season meal season was tough and and our I would say our level of attention of concentration after the Madrid defeat was high because it's just four games left for the Premier League and we gave everything and we get a good result. But I saw the game again these days and uh, we struggled for the second balls with boots and of course Maximilian and Almiron they are an exceptional player, both of them exceptional in terms of how direct and aggressive they are. And of course, with Bruno Guimaraes, with the Joel Linton, a physical team set pieces, three pieces back, like his important players with the, his balls and the channels and many things. And anyhow, always in Bournemouth and now here, always make a, a real, real competitive team. So, And, you know, in Newcastle away, always is an incredible environment, the fans. Is one of the best stadiums since I've been there here in England. Go there because I know how they support the team, and yeah, good test for us. And finally, from me on Erling Haaland, we've spoken a lot about him. He's impressed in two games, but last week we saw him lay a goal on as well. He's pulling defenders around. It's a real luxury as a manager to have a player that looks, at least from our perspective, to be the complete package. 
I'm, I'm, we are delighted with uh, Erling, uh, and and the, the the little details still we miss, but not just with him. With uh, with everything, it's question of time. I don't have any doubts. We'll settle good. Like all the new players, it's question of time and the connections, the chemistry on the pitch with the right moments, the right tempo with the players, and this is question of games, games, and games, and it happened. You um, go into Barcelona after the Newcastle game, is that right? You going for the full for the full week until uh, Thursday we come back. Are you able to explain the benefits for you and the squad that 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 break will well that trip will give you? The benefit will be together. A few days in the beginning for the new players. Our chairman will be there. Three days in all this with us. Time to training to recover in good environment and. And uh, we go to because Barcelona opened its doors to make a, a game for important person from our lives. Like I uh, was a, a keeper from Spain, a keeper from Barcelona, was my assistant there. They have an incredible, difficult time, and and they invite us to to you know to to raise money for a battle that he has for his disease. And it's an incredible argument to be there, and of course for us to play in Camp Nou is important, you know, big stage, big team, and and yeah, will be perfect. We come back here on Thursday. We'll we'll make recovery. We will see the draw of the Champions League, and we we'll prepare Crystal Palace again. What's it? You said the chairman's going to be there for, for three days. What's what's it like when he's around the around the players? Mm. Does he interact with the players quite a lot? Sorry, when, when the chairman is, is around the squad, you said he was going to Barcelona. What, what's it like when Caldoun's around the squad? Is, does he interact with the players quite a lot? No, he will come with, uh, you know, we'll be our CEO there, our people, and we'll be together with our staff. We will talk, we will laugh, we will training. We have a good game against Barcelona. When you play Barcelona, it looks like now it's a friendly game. So, And uh, yeah, we'll be together and, you know, 11 months all the time here, here in the same facilities, exceptional ones, but in the same places, change some time in that period, that is good. It's the last time we have, I would say, a long week, and after the start to be able to see this game, and, and yeah, we will be there. I can just ask one more, sorry. The, you said that the players had proved you wrong in the first two games. Yeah, because in the first game, we have doubts how we react in the first games, and after pre-season, the feed and comedy shield, we didn't train much, we have just... 10 or 11 days for the preseason, no more than that. I don't know how we're going to do. The last three years, we didn't win against West Ham away. And they proved me I was wrong, because I can trust with them without a doubt. Um, hi, Pep. This Barcelona game, um, it's a, a friendly match. Do you expect it will be a strong team that you play, or um, how strong will it be? Uh, what is for you a strong team? Um, Tell me the players. I'm just wondering when you're the other ones. Game, the, the other ones are not strong. Are you going to put your boots on? Uh, me? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. Uh, yeah, of course, the players like don't play. For example, Newcastle or Freeman John like uh, didn't play. I don't know. who's going to play tomorrow uh, on, on Sunday. But the guys who less than like a minute, of course, going to play. That's for sure. But the guys who play the last game don't play Newcastle going to play too. And so it's, it's perfect. The best way to take the confidence, no confidence, you read them and everything is playing games. Training is nice, but the best way is playing, playing games. And and the best way, the guys who didn't play much minutes, these two games that we're going to play, and after it's going to play in September, every three days, everyone's going to play. Thanks. Hi, Pat. Hi. Um, in recent seasons, or many seasons, City have had a lot of success over Newcastle. Does that completely changed now with the investment they've had in the last year or so? What happened in the past is the past. That doesn't mean it's going to happen again, in a good way, in a bad way. We have a bad, bad results in the last years against that team. It doesn't mean nothing for me. Tomorrow's another game. So. And uh, I'm pretty sure Newcastle is a project not for one season or two seasons. They want to be sustainable for the, for many years. And we have seen in England this transfer window, so many teams spend a lot. And when they decide to do the transfer they have done, it's because they believe it's the best. I'm not the guy who has to judge them, but I think they are here to stay here. Money doesn't obviously buy success. Perhaps we've, we've seen that up the road with United a little bit. Does that show, from your example here, 
how important it is not only just to have money but to have everything aligned top to bottom from the chairman to your board to you to the players i'm i'm completely uh, we spoke about that uh, yes the, no one has the secret to success in the world football no one but you believe you have something football he punch you f strong and you will fall down for sure no one not even city or the best teams in the world but one of the i would say the good things this club has is that we are aligned with the thoughts about the a hierarchy until the guys, the way we want to play, the players want to buy and want to do in the same page, in the same pattern. That is for sure. That's why I'm here for a long time, because we are agree. That doesn't mean being the same idea, have success, because you can buy play, it doesn't work, or the decision for the manager is not correct, or for many, many reasons. But at least it's a good, we have to be agree that the, the line that we want to do, all together we are agree, and this helps a lot. Paper. Just in terms of the transfer window, as far as you're concerned, is it finished for you now? You, is this a squad you're going to go into the rest of the season with? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, yeah. But if someone move or there is a a problem that we don't expect, maybe it happened, but apparently it's, it's done. And, and just looking ahead to this weekend, how are Calvin and Cole and the rest of the squad, are they... Is everyone fit? Call is back. Calvin is back. Yeah. And everyone else is okay. Uh, yeah, some niggles, some players, but the rest are okay. Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, given that everybody knows how much money Newcastle have got, has it surprised you that they have not spent more so far? And if if there is a point in the future, the trigger point where they do start big spending, what do you think, from City's experience, that that will be? Will it be when they achieve more success? Or? About the City experience, about the money, so you don't have to ask me because I don't know. So you have to ask the right. I never buy a player. I never bought a player. I will never sell a player. It's not my money. It's a club. It's a club buy and sell players. About that, you understand I'm not going to answer because I, I, I don't know what, what they have to do, what they do. So only I know is when a club has spent a lot of money, the people became crazy but spend a lot of money, and when they don't spend money, why they don't spend money? So, and that's why we are in this circle that we never never end. So, I think what they have done Newcastle is because they believe it's the best. For the, for example, the last, I think, last winter transfer, they made a lot, you know, because they are in a little bit trouble in the table, and look how benefits they had. So, at the end, Burn and all the players they bought, Target and Bruno Guimaraes and of course the players that they bought boots, they they set up perfectly. That's why they get they got a good a good results. What they're going to do, honestly, I don't know.